what you're seeing here is the fluidity chart that we use to represent uh, an organizational chart. And what it does is it illustrates how the locality of a challenge determines where the authority is placed, and that's what we call distributed control. So that the entity most affected can summon the necessary resources to solve the uh, disruption of linear goals. And that's what we call local intelligence. So it's a way of saying that a person has responsibility and authority. And each Venn diagram can represent individuals, clusters of individuals, departments, or any other subgroup. And the blue circle could represent the total organization or a department. So it's very flexible. The field theory can explain almost everything in its flexibility. Then the interactions of the uh, diagrams represent the resources coming to the challenge area. But remembering that the challenge area has distributed control and has local intelligence. The challenge area becomes the consultant. The individual closest to the challenge becomes a consultant and then calls in the resources needed in order to resolve the challenge. Then the interactions of the diagrams are actually showing the resources coming to help the area of challenge. Once the uh, challenge has been resolved, they return to the respective places, to the respective responsibilities. And all the processes are decentralized and the distributed control granted to the challenges or the areas of challenge uh, ends when linear goals regain stability. And by linear goals, I mean whatever it is that they are, they're trying to correct what would be considered a problem. We call it a challenge because it's an opportunity to bring resources together. And this is how the immune system makes decisions. The immune system does not have a centralized uh, brain that tells it what to do. It goes to where the problem is. Whatever cell identifies the problem then becomes the local intelligence. And then that cell determines what kind of resources are needed once the cell exhausts its own resources. And that would be then the distributed control because the cell will then call whatever it needs in order to solve the problem. It can make hundreds of thousands of decisions uh, a minute, uh, the immune system can, without any centralized system. So we have applied immune system wisdom to organizational authority pathways in order to have the fluidity to function under chaotic conditions. Chaos comes in fast, and if a paradigm is not flexible and fluid, it causes tremendous disruptions. It causes more turbulence. The fluidity is what allows it to then go in and out of chaos in a most effective, efficient way. And this is done always maximizing wellness.